I did have one other thing I wanted to bring up uh, before we uh, go to our panel. Uh, so that is about this controversy that I've been seeing uh, bubbling up, you know, in the mud and rain of, uh, of Twitter um, about uh, Adolf Reed. Uh, so uh, there is a book that's coming out soon uh, of essays by uh, Adolf Reed and Walter Ben Michael uh, that um, it's called uh, No Politics uh, But Class Politics. Uh, and the, this has been uh, controversial, not just because, you know, those are controversial guys. They say lots of controversial things. It's to be expected. Uh, but because of one particular essay that's uh, that's been reprinted in it and some, you know, Twitter sleuths. Yeah, that's the book, uh, No Politics But Class Politics. Uh, we'll see if we can get one of them on the show when it comes out to talk about it. Uh, but because uh, Twitter sleuths say one particular essay that was that's being reprinted in this book, uh, which is uh, an old essay, as you can tell from the title, called uh, From Jenner to Dolezal, uh, about these two incidents that had just happened, like very recently before he wrote it, or sort of two controversies, one about Caitlyn Jenner and one about Rachel Dolezal. And he's using it to sort of explore um, race and gender. And, you know, he's sort of, you know, interrogated this idea that people had that being trans is one thing, but, you know, you are, you just are what you are, what you are when it comes to, uh, to race. Anybody who's familiar with Adolf Reed's body of work on race would kind of know what his uh, objection to that, that last assumption would be, you know, he's, he's, always been very strongly a race isn't real guy. Uh, and, um, and that as a sort of secondary point, you know, I, I think he, you know, I mean, Adolf Fried supports trans rights. I think he said that in several places, but they have a, but um, I, I think he was also just kind of offended by the valorization of, uh, of Caitlyn Jenner as an individual Um because of Caitlyn Jenner's politics that, which actually I think he was probably a little early to the party on. I think a lot more people have realized uh, since then what uh, Caitlyn stands for. Uh, and so um, I was thinking about this and I was thinking about whether to say anything about this mini controversy. And I remember that I actually interviewed Adolf Reed back in 2020, like August, 2020, uh, in uh, when uh, I think GTA had already started, it was during the overlap between the two, but I was still co-hosting the Dead Pundit Society um, with Adam Proctor and Brianna Last, and we were interviewing Reed, and I asked him about this essay and people's reactions to it, and some of the ways that people were misinterpreting it, and I, I kind of think interpreted it as saying the opposite of what it's saying, and. You know, it's an old clip. It's like on a B side. That's like what they would call the. That's what we would call the equivalent of like a post game, on uh, Dead Pundit Society. And uh, so I, I, it's, I mean, that podcast has been on hiatus forever. Uh, so I, this is pretty buried, and I think it would be relevant to sort of understanding Reed's own thinking about some of this stuff. So before I brought it on the panel, I just wanted to play this uh, this clip from DPS of me asking Reed about this essay. One thing I was just thinking about, right, since, since you mentioned the analogy to, uh, to gender earlier, is uh, an essay that, that you wrote, um, I don't know, a few years, several years back about uh, Rachel Dolezal. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And, 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 I understand uh, that essay made heads explode all over the country. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, 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 I've had conversations with people that have literally gone like this. They say, oh, yeah, you should read Adolf Reed. He's great. And they say, oh, no, 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 Adolf Reed is transphobic. I said, really? Where are you getting that? Right? They, uh, and they say, oh, well, there's this essay. And the more we talk, the more I realize that somehow they managed to read that essay as saying that since we should all clearly be essentialists about race, <laughs> therefore, we should all be essentialists about gender also, oh, uh, you know, <laughs> like, oh. rather, than the, rather than the other way around, right? You know, that like, yeah. just sort of say that there's an analogy between these two cases, right? The only way they can, po they can, they can process that, right? They're so committed to, to this kind of taxonomy about race that the only way they can process saying mm -hmm. that there is not, in fact, some big principle distinction between being transgender and right. being transracial right. is by saying, 
oh, therefore, because being trans, you know, therefore, because because we should clearly dismiss what Dolzo is saying, therefore, we should right. dismiss what Jenner is saying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, wow. Yeah. Which is kind of a, uh, it was kind of a bizarre one. Uh, um, 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 I mean, Joanna Weiss, who was a grad, grad student in our department, told me that she's been defending me all over the world about this essay because I had no idea that people would, would have read it that way. Uh, well, they didn't read it at all. They just projected their own understanding. Yeah, well, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, 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 they read then, enough. And then read the lead and then figured out, like, wait a minute. He's obviously essentializing race because that's the only fucking way you can talk about race. Right. So clearly he's just, you know, there for right. trans. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's funny, too. Like, I, I came across somebody a few weeks ago on somebody else's Twitter feed or something who, who, who referred to that article um, to, uh, to the – one trans good, the other not so much piece, and took issue. Like, this person's charge that I'm transphobic was that I insisted on referring to Jenner as a Republican Jenner. And my point was that, and see, this is like another place where Chris Rock's famous question, whatever happened to crazy, just, <laughs> just, just comes up because, because at one point in time in this world, this motherfucker was, was known as Bruce. And mm-hmm. at another point, she's known as Caitlin. And and you can accept that what once was Bruce is now Caitlin. And my point was that the, the one identity that, or, or to me, the most significant identity that Jenner maintained was the one that was <laughs> continuous between Bruce and and Caitlin, and that was this motherfucker was a Republican. I don't understand why we're supposed to be kissing a Republican ass all over the world. Uh, I kind of forgot how much Adolf Reed swears in that clip. I, I hope we don't get demonetized. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I think that there is, you know, I, I think there's a discussion to be had about, um, you know, that... I mean, to my mind, I mean, I think the core of the essay is what I said earlier. The There's this strong secondary point, which is about, like, not worrying so much about, you know, who's supposed to, you know, is or is it not, like, really what, you know, in their inner essence, which nobody else could tell anyway. And, you know, we shouldn't really need to, you know, in terms of having civil rights laws and non-discrimination and all that stuff, you know, we, we, we sort of don't need to adjudicate that first and, um, you know, caring about people's role in the real world, in which case, you know, Jenner's role is uh, pretty awful. I mean, if, if, if you look at, I mean, it's, it's not just, you know, it's not like Adolf Reed just, you know, looked up uh, her voter registration and it's like, ah, Republican, right? Like this is, uh, this is, this is like lifelong advocacy uh and uh for uh for for right-wing causes and uh you know included actually not even being great on a lot of uh, a lot of trans rights issues because you know i i think that the you know he might have had a point there that the uh that like the identity that tells you the most about uh about how she's going to act in the world uh is republican gender you know with the uh with the two uh with the two come into conflict so in any case for whatever that's worth, just to just to get um, you know Reed's own perspective on the controversy about his essay, I wanted to throw that in. I want to bring in our guests in just a minute, but beforehand, uh, if either of you guys wanted to weigh in on this at all, yeah, I remember when she was running for governor uh, last year, that you know the uh, recall election. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the like first thing that that I heard about was something about like complaining about private jets, about like having like a certain a certain class of people being at that airport uh, that prevents the 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 reason why you have private jets or, or some kind of complaint. I don't remember the exact uh, quote or anything like that. I was uh, quickly trying to see if I could look it up, but um, it's such a you know like a minor thing, and it's just like that's Caitlyn Jenner right there is is the person who complains about the plebes at the uh, private airport. Yeah. That's uh do you watch succession? No. Uh, there was this whole thing in succession. One of the earlier seasons where uh, the um, Roy family was talking about maybe giving up their private jets. And uh, one of the kids was really upset about that. And he's like, look, first they came for the PJs.
You have been watching free public content from Give Them an Argument to access every single episode of the show, the main show on uh, Monday nights, all of the streams, all of the uh, debate breakdowns, all of the patron exclusive post games on Monday nights, all of the patron exclusive bonus episodes every week, and much, much more. Go to patreon.com slash Ben Burgess. I cannot resist ending this with, don't be foolish. <laughs>